you guys, what's going on? Uncle Jesse here. I am outside and I'm gonna be doing a fun video for you guys today. I'm gonna to be plasti dipping something. And if you're not familiar with what this is, it's a spray adhesive that coats basically whatever you want in rubber. I'm not gonna be plasti dipping my car like a lot of people out there. What I'm gonna be dipping is my 3D printer. Let's get this started. So I'm out here in my garage, I'm gonna be doing this project out here today since I'm gonna be spraying a bunch of stuff and it is pretty cold out, it's the fall here. If you're not familiar with what this is, it's called Plasti Dip. It's a sprayable adhesive. Basically, it coats whatever you'd like in a rubber plastic like coating and it's really amazing comes in a ton of different colors probably the standard is black and white but they've now started coming out with metallics and all sorts of other tints that are available i just picked up this blaze green here i figured it's a nice combination of my love for xbox and other technologies here that i can then spice up my year old bq whip box one of the beauties of the bq whip box is that it has this frame that you can very easily take off I don't know if why exactly they built it this way, but I figured it's a great way for me to go off and now customize it to whatever color needs I so wish. And by the way, I picked this can up for $5. It ranges anywhere from between probably $5 and $10 or more for a can. This job will hopefully not take me more than one can, but I did pick up two just in case. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna clean the panels up. I wanna make sure that they're nice and clean, don't have any finger marks on them, don't have any dust or any residue on them before I go ahead and spray them down. And all I'm using for this is Windex. So after I'm done with that, I'm actually gonna tape off the back because I don't want the back of these actually ending up with any of the spray over. So what I'm gonna do is just very easily take the backs off of these different bodies. All right, I have all three panels of the whip box now taped off and cleaned up and ready to be sprayed down. What you might notice off to the side here is I have a small pan sitting here with hot water that I have the Plasti Dip sitting in. Anytime you're spray painting or using anything here like Plasti Dip, it's a good idea to warm up the contents just helps it sp spray and coat more evenly. And since I'm gonna be doing a lot of spraying, I figured I'd pick up this Can Gun 1. It's just an attachment that you can use with different spray paint cans to help make the process of spraying easier instead of just using your finger, which can get very, very tiring. I think this is all of $6 maybe, or three bucks, I can't quite remember. I'll include a link to all of these things here that I'm using over on Amazon as well, in case you're interested in doing this yourself for your 3D printer or any of your other tools or products that you have. I'm going to shake this up by the way. <laughs> All right, for this first coat, I want a thin, light coat that I'm going to let sit there, not too heavy, still want this a little bit transparent. All right, it's time for the second coat. All right, it's time for coat number three, and I'm almost out of plastic dips, so I'm glad I picked up two bottles. This job here is definitely gonna take two containers for me to use. And again, this, this third, I'm gonna even go even heavier, and I'll probably put a fourth coat on here as well. All right, here's my fourth coat. Hopefully this will be the last. All right, so I'm finished painting the panels and everything's all dry. What I'm gonna do now is flip this over and start removing the tape. Before I do that, I have a few areas on this that I'm just actually gonna use an X-Acto knife to trim off. I don't think this stuff is really necessary. I just don't want it to peel in some of these locations. So here, I'm just gonna quickly trim these off in the corners where there's an overhang with the tape so that again, I don't get any of this stuff peel when I pull it up. All right, I've got the tape removed from all three of the panels. Now it's time to get it back assembled. All right, you guys, so here it is, my Plasti-Dipped 3D printer. 
This again is the BQ Whip Box. It has removable panels, which made this extremely easy to do. And again, I just went and picked up some Plasti Dip, put on about four coats of it using two bottles of Plasti Dip to cover all three of the panels, and I think it came out really, really nicely. If I would have done one thing different, I would have gone with an undercoat of white Plasti Dip first before I applied this green to it, since this already had a black, dark background. The green should be a little bit more vibrant than it is right now. It is actually pretty nice and, and green here, but I was really looking for that neon, crazy green that it was being advertised as on the can. So next time I do this, I'm gonna go with a white coat. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna do something similar with either a 3D printer or anything else and it has a black base. All in all, this is a one day project that you can very easily do yourself and cost probably under 20 bucks to do, all depending on the size of the project that you're gonna do. I highly recommend picking up some plastic dip. You can pick it up over at Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, Pet Boys, any of those auto body shops actually carry a ton of different colors of this product that is out now. And again, it's super easy to use. And when I'm done with it, all I have to do is basically just peel it straight off. So easy. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe. Also leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you've used Plasti Dip or if you've got any suggestions on what you'd like to Plasti Dip yourself. I'm actually thinking about Plasti Dipping my laptop as well as maybe an Xbox controller here in the upcoming weeks. All right, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.